the explosions of e-commerce native brands in the region that we see today is, is just the beginning. You know, you are building a brand acquirer for Southeast Asia. Why are we suddenly seeing a boom in e-commerce native brands? Since like, you know, a few years ago when like, you know, this, uh, a lot of like, you know, marketplaces and, uh, you know, technology ecosystems, you know, here in the market uh, exist. It's kind of like, you know, triggers a lot of, a lot more and more like, you know, uh, I would say um, young entrepreneurs to kind of like, you know, jumping in into a, a little bit more like, you know, this e-commerce native brand because things are so easy, right? You know, if you see, if you want to create a brand right now, like, you know, it's super easy. It's like you go, uh, you have the best access, like, you know, to a lot of manufacturers here in the market, you know, in Indonesia or Southeast Asia overall as well, either for fashion, or and beauties, you name it. Um, you know, the minimum quantities of like, you know, producing some stuff is not like 10 years ago where, you know, you need a lot of like, you know, money and capital to kind of like, you know, start a business as low as like, you know, 200, 300 US uh, dollars, not even like, you know, thousands, you know, you can actually start, uh, produce your own and stuff like that. Right. And then like, you know, with a lot of like, you know, these marketplaces, like, you know, Shopee, Tokopedia, Lazada, and there's a lot of like, you know, technologies, infrastructures, you know, warehouses and stuff like that, that, you know, enabling you to kind of like, you know, really uh, plug in and play basically. It triggers like, you know, more and more kind of like, you know, curiosity from like, you know, these entrepreneurs to kind of like, you know, try whether that they can build the brand or not. So I think, you know, the explosions of e-commerce native brands in the region that we see today is, is just the beginning. Local products like, you know, provide the, the, the most relevant kind of like, you know, product needs for the local customers is tailored, you know, for like, you know, my skin or like, you know, Indonesian skin as example for like, you know, skincare. Uh, the pricing as well, like, you know, it's not as expensive as the global brands. And, uh, you know, I think from the approach, the marketing approach, the community approach perspective as well, we will see more and more like, you know, brands, um, you know, will be emerged in the next like, you know, few years. Amazing. And as you rightly pointed out, lots of success stories of local brands, which means more and more people will come up with new brands. What would your primary evaluation criteria be when investing in a brand? Yes, for sure. Like, you know, we have some um, set of like, you know, standard criteria that like, you know, we're looking at the size of the like, you know, brands, the profitabilities, the bidders, you know, the products how like you know the customers reviews out of like you know these brands their financials and stuff like that right but i think like you know we're not very different but like you know as example you know jungle and the feces out there you know we're looking at the brand founders as well i think like you know every single time like you know we do a um you know acquisitions or investments into the the brands i'm like you know or my teams you know doing a proper kind of like you know interview with the brand founders just so like you know we can have the understandings and the same alignments of like you know they have the ambitions to kind of like you know grow their current brands from now like you know, probably doing one million into a hundred million in the next like you know three four five years and uh, the rest is going to be like you know as i mentioned it's going to be like you know standard criteria we're looking at larger brands at this point you know doing at least 500k revenue in annual basis is, you know they need to have you know, at least 15% at the margin level, uh, meaning that they're also profitable and they also like, you know, be disciplined with it. And like, you know, of course, we're looking at some certain like, you know, category for us, like, you know, we're playing at the lifestyle category, meaning that, you know, fashions, health and beauties and stuff like that. I would say also pushing a bit of more very community driven approach, you know, that's something that we're also, you know, very excited with because so we usually look at like, you know, how they, you know, do their approach to their, you know, marketing, I mean, the community, what is that like, you know, they have a very strong, you know, communities, they have like, you know, pretty strong socials. Of followers and stuff like that and like, you know, how active the engagement is. Got it. So it's um, brand founder profitable and community driven. So I think these are the most important things to you and the HiveFast team. Curious to hear your thoughts as to, do you think these local brands can compete with mega brands? Um, and do you think, is the growth sustainable? Absolutely. Uh, this is like, you know, what I mentioned to you, if you go like, you know, to these marketplaces, like, you know, uh, in the local marketplace, like Shopee, Tokopedia, Lazada, I think like, you know, right now, if you see there's a trend of local brands taking off, like, you know, the top charts of like the best selling items, the best selling brands and stuff like that. Even that during a mega campaigns, like, you know, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, and 12, 12 and stuff, the local brands is always there on the top five, like, you know, the best selling brands in the entire, like, you know, this uh, marketplaces, you know, 
that shows that you know the the, the local market, the local customers, you know, uh, has a, a growing, a significantly like, in a growing appetite for the local products and the local brands. And for a lot of reasons, a lot of good reasons. One is the quality is now pretty amazing, and the quality of the products is comes with the relevancy of the products to like you know each of the customer needs. You know, I mean the needs of you know the the, the Indonesians people as example. You know, it's very different with those needs. You know, in the U.S. Um, and the local brands understands about it like you know really well because you know they are the closest to the customers, and the product development happens here. You know. Um, and same with like, you know, the approach as well, not only the, 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 the products and not only the, you know, the commercial of it, I mean, it's the pricing, the pricing that like, you know, affordable and, you know, match well with the, you know, with the local, um, uh, spending power, uh, but also like, you know, in terms of the approach as well, how like, you know, they really understands, you know, where are the customers, how to actually engage with them properly you know, how to actually make them exciting, how like, you know, we engage in a more, I would say, friendly and community driven way. These are the things that like, you know, then creating a very strong brand loyalty as well from the customers. I would say like a very diehard fans of like, you know, these local brands, you know, that, you know, willing to actually do a lot of things for these local brands, be a very active ambassadors of those. And I feel like, you know, this all will be like, you know, just the beginning as well. It's will like, you know, keep growing. So I think those are the things that like, you know, make it would be growing as a significant kind of, you know, growth lever for the local brands. Super inspiring for everyone, I'm sure. And yeah, I mean, would love to have you back. Um, and thanks again for the time. Thank you, Carissa. Thank you, everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That was Matt from Hypefast, one of our fastest growing portfolio companies in Jungle Ventures. Please like, subscribe, and tune in for more amazing videos to come.